Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my version of a very popular makeup hack, which is putting on powder underneath your liquid foundation. But before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I hope that you would consider subscribing and you should also click on the notification bell so that you'll know as soon as my videos go up. I do upload new videos every single week. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you all so much for your support and thank you for coming back. Now, with that being said, let's jump right in. So Wayne Goss makeup artist here on YouTube, he put out a video back in 2014 introducing this hack to the makeup world. And in the video, he says that if you put a layer of powder underneath your liquid foundation, the powder will help to blur imperfections on your skin. It'll help to fill in your pores and it'll also give you a little bit of coverage so you won't need to use as much of the liquid foundation. Now, even though he is a professional makeup artist, and I certainly am not, when I first saw the video, I think I saw it maybe like in 2016. It was like a couple years old when I first saw it. But um, when I first saw the video, I pretty much dismissed it because in my brain, I couldn't wrap my head around putting a powder underneath a liquid. It just didn't make sense to me. But I kept seeing different people trying it on YouTube and a lot of people kept saying that it worked. So I finally gave it a try and I was very surprised and I was also very pleased with the results because pretty much everything he said is true. But the biggest change that I saw in my makeup is that my skin was not getting nearly as oily during the day. And that's why I love this hack and that's why I made it part of my daily routine, at least for the summer. I usually reserve this for summer because I feel like in the winter time when my skin is a little drier, it just does not need that extra layer of powder. So you can pretty much use any powder that you want for this technique, but I like using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. You can also use a pressed powder if you want, but I do think a loose powder might be better because it'll be a bit finer in texture. So the first couple of times that I did this technique, I put the powder all over my face and then went over it with liquid foundation. And I quickly learned that in some areas, like right around here or maybe like right in the center of my brows, it was drying my skin out too much. So now I only reserve this for my nose and my forehead because those are the two areas where I get super oily during the day. So I'm gonna show you guys how I like to apply this um, technique. So I have some of my powder out and I hope you can see it, but this should be more than enough powder for me. I like to just, let me see if I can show you a little bit better. I hope you guys can see that, but I like to just pour some of my powder out in the lid of my container. Now in the video, Wayne Goss, um, he did the demo with a brush. I prefer using it with a sponge. Now if you're definitely going to be using this technique, to help like fill in your pores with the powder, then definitely a brush would be more suitable. I just prefer a sponge. Just in general, I don't like buffing stuff out on my face. I think I'm scared that I'm gonna like maybe over exfoliate or maybe like lift some things up on my skin and I like to keep it laid down flat. But your preference, I'm gonna be using a sponge. And I think I've seen some people use a damp sponge for this. I like using a dry sponge only because I feel like it's a powder that we're working with and it's just meant to be dry. Um, if you compare though a sponge to a brush, so the surface of a sponge is just smoother than the bristles on a brush. So if you pick up the powder with a sponge, you're gonna be able to pick up a smoother layer and then you'll be able to place a smoother layer down onto your skin. But you can use a sponge or a brush, whatever your preference is. So I'm going to pat this powder right onto my nose. And I'm just making sure that I'm putting even coverage all over my nose. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on my forehead. <clears throat> And as you can see, when you first apply it, it is kind of splotchy. And then I like to just keep patting it in until it becomes a smooth layer like that. 
I'm not gonna put the powder like right up in here because sometimes that area of my face will get dry and flaky. I'm gonna put a little bit more powder up on my forehead because my forehead gets really oily during the day. You wanna make sure that you are really like pressing the powder into your skin so that no matter how you go back and apply your foundation, you don't want to lift the powder back up off of your skin. You want it to stay on your skin. <clears throat> so you should be able to tell, I'm going to go back and kind of clean up the powder on my nose a little bit, but in the areas where I put the powder, you should be able to tell that my skin is nice and blurred out. Now, mind you, the powder that I'm using, it is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. And I could probably use the next two shades darker in this powder. I've just been using this one because I have it and I'm just going to use it up before I buy some more. And because I'm going to be putting foundation on top of it, it really doesn't have to be like my exact skin tone anyway. And when I'm doing, when I'm putting my foundation on, on top of the powder, I'm pretty much going to do the same thing that I would normally do. I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And I'm just going to put like, I think I'm doing like a pump and a half. I always put my foundation on my cheeks because that's where I want the most coverage. I'm going to take the same sponge and use the other side of it. And I like to do my foundation like one side of my face and then the other. So I'm going to start by patting this out on my cheeks. My under eye area, I'm going to hit my eyelid just a little bit. And then after I get this whole area covered, I'm going to take the residual product, meaning only what's left on the sponge, and then I'm going to hit the areas where I have the powder. And I hit these areas last. I do this whether or not I'm putting powder on first, but the reason I hit these areas last is because the powder, even though it's not my skin tone, it is already giving me a little bit of coverage. And I want less liquid products right here anyway because that will help prevent my skin from getting too oily during the day. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So this is what my face is looking like after putting the foundation on, on top of the powder. And then after you finish that, you can go ahead and just put on the rest of your makeup the way that you normally would. And this is what my face looks like after I finish the rest of my makeup. So that is my version of the powder before foundation technique. I really hope you like the way that the look came out and I will have everything that I'm wearing today listed in the description bar. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and also by leaving me a comment. And I hope that you'll come back for my next video. But in the meantime, here's a couple others that you can check out from my channel. So please watch and enjoy. And I will see y'all next time. Until then, take care. Bye, y'all.